Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm out of the Schomburg office, health coach there. And I wanted to share with you some of the things we do in the summer. Grilling is our absolute favorite way to fix meat while we're on Lose It. Right here, I have non-Lose It approved pub burgers that I bought this way. We're not on Lose It right now, so these are, aren't Lose It approved, but you can do it with any hamburger. I love to use our steak seasoning. It is delicious. Got, it has some garlic in there, pepper, and I'm very generous with it. It is not hot at all, uh, so it doesn't bother me to put quite a bit on. Then I salt it with the pink salt. You can never have too much pink salt, in my opinion. A little more pepper, not too much because there is pepper in the steak seasoning. I will do the other side of these as well, and Dave will put them on the grill. They'll be ready in about 10 to 15 minutes. But I wanted to share with you what other things you can do. The other seasonings that we have are great, um, various ones with different um, meats. I particularly like the barbecue and the Southwest on beef. Barbecue also on chicken. That's fabulous. The Sweet and Hot Louisiana and the All Purpose are good. The, the All Purpose is rather mild and it goes nicely on fish. We also have a lemon one at the office and it works very nicely on fish. I make my own blackening seasoning. We do not carry one in the office, but you can find a recipe online. It is fabulous for fish, especially on the grill. With vegetables, I would highly recommend the Sweet and Hot Louisiana. Sprinkle them with a little bit of nutritional yeast. Grill them on the, on the grill or in your foodie. Absolutely delicious. Another thing that I like to do is to marinate my chicken. I use sweet mustard, equal parts, sweet mustard and sweet vinaigrette. Makes a really nice marinade. You can also use the liquid aminos for a marinade. And then we come around to our condiments. We have the classic ketchup. I'm a Heinz girl. No ketchup but Heinz will do. Take hunts right back to the cupboard if you don't mind. This one it gives Heinz a run for its money. Very good. Uh, the spicy tomato ketchup is has just a little bit of kick to it. It would almost remind you of a shrimp cocktail sauce. My husband loves this one. And a particular favorite of his, because he's a mustard guy, is the habanero mustard. Fabulous on hot dogs. And we grill a lot of hot dogs. This is a brand you can have. It is all organic, and there is nothing in it except spices and meat. And, it, and it's perfectly program approved. Little bit of um, processing, which is not the greatest, but still good, um, good contents. And we'll get these on the grill in just a minute. Dave's going to share with you how he does that. Okay, now I'm ready to grill. I've preheated my grill to 500 degrees, and I'm going to put these hamburgers on and I'm going to cook them for three minutes on the first side so that I can sear the meat. These hamburgers are frozen, which is fine. So let me put them on the grill. And now I cook just only for three minutes on one side to sear the meat and to lock the juices in on that side. Then I'm going to flip the burgers and I'm going to cook them for six minutes after I flip them on both of them will be for six minutes and then after six minutes I'll flip them back to the original side for three more minutes so it's a total of six minutes per side or a total of 12 minutes and these will be done medium they'll be just a little bit pink on the inside but hot all the way through cooked all the way through but all of the juices locked on the inside so um, now we just let the grill do its work okay it's been three minutes on this side so now I'm going to put these over. You can tell that the meat has been seared, so all of those juices are locked on the inside. Now we're going to cook for six minutes on this side. And um, 
we, we love to grill. I, I'm no good in the kitchen, but I do love to grill and we grill steaks and we grill hamburgers and we grill pork chops and we grill hot dogs. Um, we grill chicken. I'm not as good with chicken, but usually Kathy helps me with that to make sure that I know I don't want to overcook anything. We like our meat to be hot and juicy and done all the way through. So now we're waiting for six minutes on this side. And then when that's done, I'll flip them back over to the original side and finish out with three more minutes. So it's a total of 12 minutes that the hamburgers are cooking at 500 degrees. All right, so these have been grilled three minutes on the first side, flipped over six minutes on the other side. Now I flipped them back over three minutes on this side. So they are completely done. So these are perfectly done medium burgers. Very, very juicy on the inside. All the juices have been locked in. Now you can just eat these off of a plate or you can do a lettuce wrap, which is delicious. Um, but now these along with some nice veggies and you've got a great meal. We are back here and this is my ninja foodie. I wanted to show you what you can do with it as far as grilling is concerned too. We use it a lot in the winter time or in inclement weather. But I've got some veggies that I've had cut up for a week. I don't want to lose them. It's some green peppers, red peppers, and a little bit of uh, purple onion. I'm going to put some pink salt in here generously because you know I like being salt and some pepper and a little bit of nutritional yeast give that a good shake I've already preheated my foodie over here and it's saying add food so I'm going to do that give them a stir around so they get nice grill marks And in about seven minutes, we'll have some nice roasted vegetables on the grill. It grills from both sides, so it takes less time. I will check them in about four minutes and they may even be done then. This is a great option. They don't pay me to say this, but I really like this machine. It was a Christmas gift from my kids and I love it.